What's up guys, I'm Mad Morta, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I put together a custom bound Aragon book. So the first thing I did was I took a paperback copy of Aragon that I got new off of Amazon, and I just tore off the old cover, they come off much more neatly than you would think that they do. Then I took some construction paper and made sure that when it was folded in half it was the exact same size as my book, so that I can add essentially two pages to the front and two pages to the back of the book. And what I'm going to do is putting a protective layer under the first paper in the book. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right along the spine, so I'm not gluing the entire page, just right along the edge there, and I'm gluing this piece of paper or this folded over in half piece of paper to the front and the back. Next, along the spine, I put some more glue, and I added a piece of cloth that wasn't too stretchy, and it was pretty thin. Supposedly, this helps with strengthening the spine. You do want to make sure that you don't add too much glue here, like I did. I added a little bit too much on the sides, and you can see it's kind of globbing up in the middle there. So, next I added the headbands. These are just fancy little things that go in the top and the bottom of hardcover books. You don't see them on paperbacks, and so by adding them to the paperback, it's going to make it look more like a hardcover right at the end, and just, you know, dress it up a little bit. So you can see it sticks over just the top of the book, and same at the bottom. Next, I went ahead and I used some kind of hard paper. It's not paper exactly, it's not cardboard exactly, it's sort of part way in between, and I cut it to be just the right size, and I taped them together along with a piece of construction paper, and this is going to form the outer shell of your book binding, and this is what you're going to attach the leather to. So next, I took a 3D printed stencil that I made of the Aragon logo. I wet my leather over, and then I took a hammer and just hammered the logo into the leather. So it left a nice imprint, and I think it's going to add a little bit towards the end when I paint it. So here you can see I did that for all three logos, and there's also an eye there. If you're curious on how to add eyes to leather, there's all kinds of tutorials out there. It's super easy. So I took my laser engraver, and I went ahead and engraved Sephira onto the leather where the front of the book is going to be, just like on the hardcover edition. So it's finally time to dye it blue. So I'm just using some leather dye that's blue and an airbrush to airbrush it on. I could have just wiped it on with a cloth, but I thought an airbrush would give me a more even coverage since it has kind of a scaled texture to it. So these Aragon stencils that you see here were just printed on a Cricut, a vinyl cutter. You could have used a craft knife if you wanted, but I'm lazy, so I used my Cricut and cheated a little bit. And the idea is I can just airbrush the Aragon letters on without having to hand paint them or worry about you know, spilling any kind of ink on it or anything like that. It's just going to be exactly where the letters are supposed to be. So I can finally peel off the masking tape, and you can see I have a little bit more pieces of vinyl to take off, but this is pretty much how the outer cover of my book is going to appear with the Aragon in gold, the blue, and the black saphir on it. So I'm going to finish it up with a coat of Resoline, which is going to seal the leather and stop that blue from coming off and ending up on anything we don't want it to, like your hands. So I found for the eye the easiest way to attach it was just with a cross section of masking tape. It seemed to give it some flexibility. So then I added some more glue, which is again some special book binding glue that I got, and I'm just going to glue the front, the back, and the spine of the the inner book that we made to the leather itself. So it's now kind of stuck together. Then we just fold up the corners again using that glue. You can see I'm using a weight here to keep it down because the leather I was using was a little too thick. And once you glue that on, you can glue the blue papers that we added to the book earlier to the insides of the cover and you're done. So if you'd like to make your own hardcover leather bound book, I'd recommend checking out the description. I will leave a link to the Instructables tutorial that I followed in order to make mine. It was posted by Solabo and it is extremely detailed, but also nice and simple and easy to follow if you want to make your own. So I hope you like my video and thanks for watching.